Hello everyone, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a math problem that looks simple, almost too simple, but ends up hiding something far more mysterious? Well, today we're diving into one of those problems. This is problem 9 from the HMMT 2024 Algebra and Number Theory round. Suppose you have three numbers. We'll call them A, B, and C. They're complex numbers. Here's what we know about them. Seems pretty symmetric, right? But here's where things get interesting. The task is to figure out all possible values of the sum. A plus B plus C. Think about that for a second. What kind of numbers could satisfy these conditions? What's fascinating about this problem is how symmetry plays a huge role. So, what do you think? Can you figure out all possible values of A plus B plus C? I'll give you a hint. There's more than one possible value, and the answer might surprise you. Let's start by defining that the sum of A, B, and C is equal to S. Now, if we add up all the equations given in the problem, we get A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals zero. Next, let's multiply the equations by A, B, and C respectively and add them all together. You can see all the terms on the right-hand side cancel each other out. This gives us a cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed equals zero. Let's put a blue box around it. So far, we've proved these two results, which we'll mark with blue boxes. Now let's use a famous identity to figure out ABC. First, we need to calculate AB plus AC plus BC. To do that, we start with the square of A plus B plus C. Using the earlier result, we find AB plus AC plus BC equals S squared divided by 2. From here, substituting this result into the pink box, we get ABC equals S cubed divided by 6. Let's summarize these results and mark them with blue boxes for reference. Now, if we square each equation in the problem, add them together, and simplify, we can figure out a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus c to the power of 4. Using the results from the blue boxes, we find a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus c to the power of 4 equals negative s squared. The roots a, b, and c satisfy the polynomial given by the product of x minus a, x minus b, and x minus c. Expanding this polynomial and using the blue box results, we can express the coefficients in terms of s. Alternatively, we could also find the coefficients using Vieta's formulas. Let's call the sum of a to the k plus b to the k plus c to the k as sk. Since a, b, and c are roots of the polynomial, substituting each of them into the polynomial will result in zero. Now let's multiply the equations by a, b, and c respectively, and add them together. This method is known as Newton's sums. Using this approach, we get the value of s4, which represents a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus c to the power of 4, equals s to the power of 4 divided by 6. At this point, we've calculated a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus c to the fourth in two different ways. Equating these two results and simplifying, we find s squared equals zero, or s squared equals negative six. So the possible values for s are s equals zero, or plus minus i times the square root of six, I've solved and published all SUMAC 2022-2023 solutions, something never done before. Whether you're preparing for advanced math programs or competitions, I offer personalized classes to take your skills to the next level. Reach out now to book your spot.